there are a lot of people out there who don't have the level of power in their world that they should. So one of the features of Tor is that it, it levels the, the playing field uh, so that you, uh, for example, uh, if you are working in McDonald's and you can't afford to have a different job, but there's some sort of corruption or something happening at your workplace, you need a way to be able to whistleblow safely without getting fired for it. So uh, at every level in the world, there are examples of that sort of thing. So one of the great things about Tor is that it gives people power when otherwise they wouldn't have it. There are a lot of people out there who have influenced uh, Tor and, and what sorts of things we work on. Uh, one of them that comes to mind is a fellow named Andreas Fitzman, who was a professor at Dresden in Germany. He was one of the very early researchers on anonymous communications, and he was also really influential in German policy in teaching all the folks in Germany and the rest of the world uh, why anonymity is important and why uh, people who are thinking short-sighted policy-wise uh, are doing it wrong. A lot of it is answering email these days. Uh, we built a huge community of people who care about uh, privacy and anonymity in Tor, and they all want to help in some way. So a day in my life is trying to help coordinate everybody and give them feedback and make them feel that what they're doing is, is worthwhile and actually helping. I mainly work on Tor because of all the really important people out there who rely on it and need it. So every time I hear from a user saying, uh, I'm in Syria and my family is not dead because of your tool, uh, that's a great reason to keep working on it. Uh, in terms of uh, anonymous communications, uh, there are a lot of great professors out there who uh, do a lot of really interesting work, but I think in terms of who I admire most, it's the bloggers and activists around the world who uh, are trying to teach people how to be safe on the internet and trying to uh, learn themselves how to be safe on the internet in the face of pretty strong adversaries. I guess stubbornness is probably the simplest answer. I'm sure there are better ways to phrase that, but uh, the most important thing is to, once you've figured out what's important to do, stick with it and, and make sure you do a great job at it. Uh, a lot of the reason why people work on Tor is the broader impact to society. There are a lot of groups out there who rely on Tor uh, to stay safe for whatever they're doing. Uh, so from the Middle East to folks in America and Europe uh, to whatever uh, interesting social impact is going to come next.